drip irrigation is something that's been around for quite a while. Um, it's been perfected probably in the last five to seven years. It's, uh, it's a point source of irrigation. So instead of delivering something aerially, we're able to deliver the water right at ground level. Well, whenever you do low flow irrigation, the, one of the most important things is filtration and pressure regulation. Most of the drip components that are on the market today are designed to operate around 40 PSI. And so most of the manufacturers that produce low flow irrigation now give you an all-in-one piece that has a filter and a pressure reduction device so that when the water exits the valve box to go out to the, to the low flow or the drip irrigation, it's already knocked down to 40 PSI, and then there's just a filter device in there that you have to clean annually, sometimes biannually. If, if you're gonna do the DIY, you can go and buy the components yourself, but I would probably recommend that you go to one of the professional line distributors in town. Nothing wrong with the box store stuff, but it's usually of a residential grade. Um, pipe walls aren't quite as thick. Um, the, the fastening fittings, the tees and the couplings and those kinds of things that you would use, those things are usually made out of a, of a thinner PVC than what the professional grade stuff is. And so you don't get as long a life out of them. The, the advantages of drip are that it is low flow and in Lincoln we have really heavy clay soils. And so we want, a, we want an application of water that happens very slowly and gives the ground a chance to absorb the, the water that we're putting out. The other advantage to drip irrigation is that as plant ma material matures within the landscaping bed, the drip is point source. It's, it's underneath the mulch or it's underneath the rock that you have in your landscaping. And so you, you're delivering that water right at ground level. And there's no blockage, there's no interference. Once the drip goes in, as long as the landscape bed doesn't change dramatically, the application rate is there. As long as you keep that underneath that bed, then we're utilizing almost every drop of water that we put out. Whereas with aerial delivery, we not only have to throw the water into the bed, but then we also have to get it to pass the rock or through the mulch and then get to the soil where the plant really needs it. So the most important thing with drip is that you have to keep cover over the top of it. If you don't keep cover over it, it's going to require a lot of maintenance because there's gonna be a lot of nature's friends that come out to get a drink. Well, the biggest advantages of drip, from a water conservation standpoint, we can truly manage how much water we're putting down. The fact of, of plant maturity and as plants mature, that we're still able to apply the same amount of water two years down the road that we were when the landscape bed first went in. And number three, as long as you keep it mulched, it's really vandalism proof. There's no way to access the components. There's nothing that comes up that kids can accidentally kick off or break off or anything. It's, it's all underground.